Hey yo, glad you could join me. Today is a little bit of side instead of the easy loader or bees or that type of thing. I want to talk about the easy box jig, which is a pretty cool invention. I actually have two of these in stock, two of them in stock right now here in Manitoba. So if you want to pick one up, give me a call um, or Facebook message or whatever you want to do to get in touch with me. But so let's, what is it? Oh, stop looking at me. Look at that. This is the Easy Box Jig from M&K Stafford, obviously by Easy Loader, same company. And it is intended to make building boxes easier and also square. Okay, pretty cool unit. There's a little foot pedal here. That releases the swivel so that you can turn your boxes around. Okay. These clamps are here. They are adjustable to the specific height you need. And when you do all, you got the four clamps. And that making your super is now loose. So the easy way to do this, you take your super, put it on the ground, right? Or wherever you do it on the tables. Pop it together a little bit with the mallet so that it's, the parts are together. If you've got a rabbited joints, it's that much easier. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand here. Slide it into place. And then you're using your clamps. Just like that. Push them over center, lock it down. And now it's ready to nail. So you've got a nice, easy working platform here, nailed it straight down on it. I actually, uh, the gentleman here in Manitoba just bought one of these and modified it a bit, just lowered this down because uh, his employees, the people that were gonna be using it were not quite as tall. He wanted it to be a little bit shorter. So he took these parts here, let me get in here. He took these parts off and mounted them down below on this beam here. So that dropped it by, you know, a good 14 inches or so, so that the working height for the unit, instead of being at, you know, just above waist height, was actually just below. So if you've got somebody who is using a nailer who's a little bit shorter, or if that's more comfortable for you, that's an option. Drill a couple holes, move the structure down there, and you're good to go with the lower table. The Easy Box Jig does come with a tabletop on it, which is handy for putting your paint or your tools, your air tool on it. And it has this piece as well, which is the internal box grab. Basically it works the same as your external box grab, just grabs them from the inside so you can work on the outside of the box with painting and that type of thing when it's nailed. These do have a shaft in the middle of the plate at the back. And this shaft here, you can see that there, I hope. That runs right through. It's a short bit on the other side, you can push it on and that just helps you for mounting it. These bolts on the back here are 13 mil bolts. So you have a 13 mil wrench or socket, that's ideal. A half inch wrench is pretty close. Uh, it'll do the job, but you, you may be you know, snugging your bolts a little bit or might find a little bit of slip in there. But those are the sizes. Using the same 13 mil, you can pull this nut, this nut and bolt out of here and adjust these down. And I know if, if you find that you just can't adjust these to the correct depth that you need to pinch your box right, you could drill holes through using this, just set it to where you need it, drill a hole through this center piece here, and then make an adjustment. And that's sort of, if, if you've got odd sized boxes or for whatever reason, you wanna do that. In any case, I'm gonna put this uh, camera on a tripod and then I will take this off and do the swap and see how that goes. Okay, first things first, we are going to remove the super, reduce some of the weight on this while we're doing this. And then we will 
just remove the bolts. Hopefully not drop any. We have this hole with the shaft. Got it. Push it on, line up our bolt holes, and hopefully they all fit. There we go. And now the super should mount on the inside. Simple like that. Okay, so now that we have this piece on here, uh, we gotta make sure, this, especially the first time you're using it, that your box actually fits. So we'll put this on. And I'm not sure if you can see this, I hope you can. But when you put these over center, the box is still loose. So adjustments for this are fairly straightforward. Take the box off and hopefully you can see this. What I'm doing here, you've got it on a big enough screen, but this piece here, you just swivel it out. Okay? Swivel it out a little bit and there's a lock nut on here. You just roll that back. This is a 14 mil. Okay, you tighten it like so, and now we'll see if that fits side to side. Now you got an adjustment side to side. We can still tighten that a little bit more. You can actually leave the box on while you're doing this. Loosen that set screw. Give it another turn out. We'll go a turn and a half. Tighten up that screw a little bit at least. So it's going to flop around. I'll try it again. Oops, didn't quite get that tight enough. And that's solid. Okay. I don't know if you can see this one in here though. See if I can get that oh, up at the camera there. This one is all the way up and you can see that there's still space here. So we have to make an adjustment using this bolt. Same idea as what we were talking about with the outside grab. So we'll loosen that and take the box off for ease. Go back to the 13 mil. Take the nut off. And this top piece is the one that moves in here. So, oops, drop the washer. Let me grab that quick. If I pull it out, you can see this is the original set hole. And this is the one that you'll want to use for the box. So, using both hands again. Slide it through the hole. Washer. And nut. We'll tighten that up. I'll put it in. You can see that one is loose too. So the same idea. Using the 14 mil. Loosen the nut. This one will go. 
two turns. This one's going to sit still, so we'll just give it a shot and see whether or not that tightens it up or not. And it does pretty well. So we'll turn the set screw down. No, oh, I don't like that. That's sitting a little awkward. There. Now we'll tighten that set screw up. This one will turn and tighten that set screw up. And now it's solid. That's the adjustments for it. So it's as simple as that to adjust. Now you want to paint the top of the box or do some routing work. And I've seen some very cool designs of people doing fantastic paint jobs on these things. So anyways, that's the easy box jig. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. I think if you follow the link for uh, Phil Wildhus's Facebook, I think he says that it takes, it, it, he's taking off at least two and a half minutes per build on a box to use this as compared. And if you're building a lot of boxes, two and a half minutes per box, that actually adds up over time. So pretty cool. That's the easy box jig. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later. Bye.